it's your boy Humble City. We back here with music mayhem. So we got Game Boy Jones with a music video. We got Hala CG. Oop, sorry. Spinning my mouth. We got Hala CG with an Attack on Titan songs. We got Connor Quest with a Shiva song. Shiva rap. And we ended it off with Dizzy 8 with this Shinshu. Hope I said the name right. Shinshu Uchiha rap. So we gotta get we not gonna waste no time. We just gonna go straight right into it because y'all already know sometimes with my intros I wanna make them short and sweet and to the point. So we're gonna check this first one out, which is Game Boy Jones with the humanoid typhoon your music video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get in the video. He's trying to copy what DPS did on his freaking UG and UG and Toto rap with the switch. If you haven't go check out my reaction to that. Doing the freaking barber shop thing. And look, like I said, we already it's basically like this. Once we already reacted to the the AMV version, we have to get the music video. It's just it's just point. problems everywhere that I run. I know that it can't be undone. Live fast, I'ma probably die. It's just so crazy that we because you know way these even though technically he's still right from maybe his opinion has changed but let's face it ever since like years ago or so right during a black history month i can't remember if it was either last year or two years ago but like i said probably like a couple years ago i remember when he was putting on a when he was on an article saying that he's not one for doing like original songs and what and such but i'm just saying with the way how each for this year he's been doing music videos after releasing the amv well actually doing music videos after he done did the amv part hey some of these are like original hey, songs. i know that it can't be fast i'm a probably die Peter moving my feet, I do like Nike, but moving like me. They say they got juice, but tears are high C. You want me on track? Well, that's unlikely. Can handle my feet. Let's get your bounty up. When I come around the town, or up. When I first began, they doubted them. Been stabbed in the back, now I'm out of trust. Quick fact, I've been passing niggas up, even with blast. Taking every single shot, feel the kickback. Reminiscing about the days I was big class. Now they big mad. Now I'm the man these niggas hate can never harm me. Bounty on my head, you'll never get out like a star. Problems everywhere that I run. Video editor, no cap visuals, them freaking and and he said pink is his favorite color, but goddamn, that pink is pussy now. Where did I run? I know that it can't be undone. Live fast, I'ma probably die. Shout out to his barber shop for do for doing this. Quick fact, I've been passing niggas out, giving whiplash. Wait, hold on. Been too cold, I had to throw cold on. Got no team, I have to move solo. Ain't no me, just getting me mojo. No free cloud and giving out promo. Wanna meet down with this one photo. On my back, we're stealing my mojo. I did this shit, but I just hit my fucking prime. Boy, I get grinded for that diamond in the mine. I thought some people who said they're here for the ride. Put that bullshit to the side. Don't come back, I'm doing fine. Better than imagine. Until I hit the casket, hey, yeah. I don't gotta rap. 
fashion. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you that barber is like, boy, if you don't get your ass on this damn chair and let me cut your beard, because I know damn well he ain't got no hair up here. That nigga, that nigga is a milk dud ball. <laughs> Game boy, I know you're going to probably see this video. If you do, cool. If you don't, sorry, but my boy. If you don't let that lady fucking cut your beard, cause I know damn well you ain't got this. <laughs> Boy, if you don't let Side. Side. Don't come back, I'm doing fine. Jackson. Better than imagine. Do it listen till it hit the casket. Hey, yeah. I don't got a ration. Do what I love and I'm a cash. She about to this. I can tell you she probably like trying to sit this boy like strap you. Have a strap on wrong and you run that boy. If you don't sit your it's gonna make your ass sit. Yeah, always gonna crack it. You ain't got this living not a fraction. Fuck around, I'll turn it to a fraction. Hold it with a minute, bring it back in. Yeah, hey, uh, better than imagine. Do it less until it hit the casket. Yeah, hey, uh, I don't got a ration. Do it with a living, I'm a cash in. Yeah, hey, uh, always gonna crack it. You ain't got this living not a fraction. Fuck around, I'll turn it to a fraction. Now we gotta bring the cars back in. Yeah, hey, uh, problems everywhere that I run. I know that it can't be undone. In the past, I'm a problem. No, I don't. No. That was wild. She didn't have to do that to the man. The minute she saw that bald head, she went, boy. Nah, that was, that was not fair. You did. She didn't have to do that to the man. But then again, it is his, I did say that it is his fault trying to freaking move and such. You probably deserve that. <laughs> that freaking slap. Nah. Shout out to Game Boy, because brother, the thing with Game Boy, he just has so much charis charisma and such on a song that you would expect something like that to happen. You would expect something like that to want to happen in when he's doing music videos. And that right there just proves it. <laughs> The freaking slap. The song is fired up. We are, like I said, we are already reacting to the song, but with the music video, bro, that just gets it ten times better. But just that freaking slap to the, I don't know if it was the neck or the ball head, but either way, <laughs> ah, that was stupid. Shout out to Game Boy Jones. But now we're on Hala CG and with another, with an artist that I never heard of. Kind of weird that you put this name, The Forgotten. Attack on Titan song. Run <laughs> Forgotten's like vocals as much because it needs to be turned up now. Look for the pronouns, let's just say for right now, I don't know if it's a he or they because, like I said, with the vocals, I can't hear it as much, I can only hear it like a little bit because let's face it, that's why it's a that's why it's a good thing when it comes to the AMVs because. If a person's vocal is turned so, it's not turned all the way up, again, I can barely hear them. If it wasn't for these AMVs seeing the lyric, I wouldn't know if he's actually saying something or not. I could literally just think, I thought it would be the beat, so. What would the forgot? But I'm pretty sure it's a he. But like I said, but not trying to be rude or anything, but like I said, the vocals probably. And y'all wanna and y'all wanna say me about y'all can't hear me? 
I don't want nobody sick. Look, the forgotten, with all due respect, I'ma just, I'ma vent out to the people who always saying y'all can't hear my vocals when doing these reactions. What is this? <laughs> Like I said, I can hear it now, but I need, but like, you comp compare it to how you hear it now, but hearing hollers, you can see why I'm saying that it needed to be turned up. Right What's he calling it again? Freaking. Uh, freaking. It's kind of like the Tokyo stiff, Tokyo stick up with like dizzy and con contrast, but it's something different. What's it called? Freaking. Uh. What's it called? It's not. It's... Dang, what's it called? I forgot. I forgot the name of what it's like, what like this type of music is called, but I... damn it, I forgot. Y'all let me. If y'all can remind, if y'all like this type of sound, sound, sorry, y'all let me know what it's called, cause I, I always hear it somewhere. I just can't freaking remember. Sounds like it because on Dizzy and Khan's song with the Tokyo Stiff one, it was like a ver it's like that, but like hood, in a way, you can say gangster version. This one, this is the more typical EDM vibes you would hear at a, at a EDM club or a song or a party or whatever. That's what I was trying to remember. <laughs> The Forgotten's vocals was turned up a notch because I could really heard the Forgotten's vocals in there. Okay. Yeah, shout out to that. Carter Quest featuring Schwabity, the shit of our rap. Let's get it. And A. It's basically like this with the way how. I saw on Schwabity's second channel where he said when he was like reacting to Ham Sandwich and Came Steady's song Lose My Effing Mind. Schwabity is like more of like the screaming. So the fact that Modestro's on this, hey, I'm pretty sure we about to get scre we about to get screaming. Don't have to talk, smoke them like a And 
Connor course. You already know with Connor, this man with the freaking like metaphor is like the king of metaphors, words, play, schemes. Like, bro, god damn. No choice, no choice but to prove why I'm at the no top. Choice. Cause on a scrap, I won't lose to a man of God. One swing turns into a scatter shot. I never lean into it, it'll be standing there. If I lean to it, he'll be standing. A slam like a talent box, dragged and dropped, master apps on the back in top. Flash of contact and shot of then, and out camera shots. All four pieces like my hat and was, and a magma. Hold up, what do you say? Top flash of contact and shot of then. Flash of contact. And out camera shots. And out camera shots. Camera shots, camera shots. All four pieces like my hat and was, and a magma heart. Like Agni, a scorcher, the anti restorer your torch like the lands of Gomorrah. Clasping my organs, the max, the performance force of a stampy that bordered your manji. My all was enormous and all in accordance with plans that I've ordered. A brawler, I bask in the class from a tournament audience. Wanna dress how he's dressed, but I rag on these paupers. Not an arms dealer, but I deal a large hit with a far region. Not an arms dealer, cause he got the. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I mean, what are we telling you? Connor Quest with these freaking words. Bro, Connor Quest is like so underrated because I didn't know that saying a lot, but be reasonable. Who you know in Nerdcore can come with these freaking the similes, metaphors, wordplay, this rhyme scheming and such. Straight up. Because I know Schwabity gonna come in here with them punchlines, but I'm just saying with Connor Quest, everything you might get in a freaking rap and such from bars. To wordplay, to schemes, into the rhyming and such, both internal and external. The dress of his dress, but I rag on these paupers. Not an arms dealer, but I did a large hit with a far reach and charge him like a card reader. Thought his side of the grass greener, he could fight and his back in the chart seat and charge out of the fast feet. I heated up for the dance fever. He's I heated up for the he could fight on his back in the chart seat and charge out of the fast feet. I hated that for the dance fever. He screamed, Viva La Vida, thinking he had a chance to beat us, but they aren't Shiva. Don't have to talk, toy. Smoke them like a road joint. Rags above the amateurs. We stack the tubs like gold coins. Fighting back, there's no point. This one's for the homeboys. Gave you all the hints to call it quits. You let me no choice. Don't have to talk, toy. Smoke them like a road joint. Rags above the amateurs. We God of destruction if you aren't that clever Skin is thick and I got palms of leather Man, the foot works back up if the arms get severed See Man, is the, man the foot works back up Aren't that clever Skin is thick and I got palms of leather Man, the foot works back up if the arms get Man, the foot works back up if the arms get severed See, me and the bestie, we made the best team We made it far with effort That's right. Made it to the peak dream Thinking that you'll beat me, homie, like, nah, not ever nah. But what does he know? Vishnu and Brahma told me check the ego. Kalos me look at Shaya clip bravido. That means I'm a presence lethal. Man, ass. This nigga really. Hold up, what language was that? Hold up, yeah. Don't. Look, I'm not trying to be rude. What language was that? What language was that? I'm pretty sure. Now, I could be totally wrong, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but. What language was that? Because I know Connor and Schwabity are both from the UK, England to be exact. But what what language was that Schwabity just put on? Did he just speak some... It, it, it had to be Indian. Straight up. I, that could be my ignorant speaking, but I'm pretty sure that's a... That's why I say with Nerdcore, you're always going to get something new from certain artists. Whether they're mid-level, up-and-coming, or the upper level. One way or another with them, you're always going to get something new. And I've never heard Schwabity go into this type of language. Vishnu and Brahma told me check the ego. Kalos me look at Shaya clip bravido. That means I'm a presence lethal. Man, I see no hear no fee no equal. Top of Kaila sitting sipping vino. If you want to gamble with your life, there's a four arm bandit in my casino. If you want to gamble with your life, there's a four arm bandit in my casino. 
find it in my casino I could cut a rug with any man or beast For I am the lord of the dance, said he Though the banter's easy, can't stand the heat When I swing for nothing, get these hands for free End up on your hands and knees if you stand to me Couldn't 1v1 me in your fantasies 1-1-1-6, one, 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 that's how many trophies I got on my mantelpiece Don't have to talk toy, smoke them like a road joint Rags above the amateurs, we stack the tubs like gold coins Okay, so maybe I was kind of wrong at the start of this, <laughs> but I'm just saying with Schwabity, sometimes you never know when he's gonna pull out the screaming one. So maybe that specific character don't come with the screaming and such. But I'm just saying, if anyhow you give, if anyhow a beat is so loud and distorted and just all out going nuts and such, trust me, Schwabity's gonna be on that. This one was more of a Tokyo-ish and saucy type of vibe, so it's still fire, don't get it twisted. But some sometimes, one of these days, Strawberry, he gonna drop that freaking crazy ones. So, yeah. But either way, shout out to Connor Quest, Strawberry, Modestro, and Luna. Because they did crazy on this one. Saucy, in fact. We got to end off this music mayhem, the Shishu Uchiha rap song. Hope I said the first name for him right. Dizzy 8, Contrast, let's get it. This weight on my shoulders make it so hard to find I can't give up even though I don't know if I And cause, and it's, and it's kinda crazy with these two It's basically like this, with Khan and Dizzy A, they know how to compliment one another Cause they both can know how to come with different flows They can come with melodies, they can come with bars they can come with sauciness and they know how to make a song. That's the whole entire package when it comes to making a song. There's a difference between you can rap. Why you think, like, I'm, there's always gonna be that scene, especially when it comes to Rustich who said it. Yeah, you rap so good, but you can't mix. I may be paraphrasing, but. Yeah, you rap so good, but you can't make music. Dizzy 8 and Contrast, them two in Nerdcore knows how to not only make good rap songs, but just a hit, like a song song. There's a difference right there, yeah. Some artists don't know what that difference is, because most of them think like, oh, you can, if you're just gonna always do one thing and such, you know, when you're an artist, nah. Sometimes you gotta do Basically, it's like this. There's a difference between just rapping and then making songs. I can't give up exactly. even though I don't know if I even make it through the night. I want to see the, the artwork by freaking K Art. Yo, this artwork for Dizzy 8 and from the other recent ones, whoever, if it's K, K Art, hold on, let me see. K, K Art, for that person, if they see in this video, my dude, 
you be going freaking insane with these artworks. First this one, then the Guts one, freaking, uh, there was many other ones, but I'm just saying. The Eisen one, where he was, well, like, the original one, like, original songs and such. Bro, these artworks be going insane. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Like, bro, the way how it just fits Dizzy perfect. God damn. Say pain in your eyes is mine if you knew what I know. You rather die for a curse than me, I just rather live by a code. This world's too cold. Mm. You rather die for a curse, but me, I rather live by a code. Mm. Saying that nigga, you may want to die for the bad. You want to die for the bad things and such that's going on and such. Something that could make you go to hell, go to unaliving. But me? I'm going to stick to a code, and I'm going to honor that code, no matter what. Curse in me, I just rather live by code. This world's too cold, so I had to get a vision to my brother, man, I know he's taking further. Man, he tried to turn me to a gun, I had to think they tried to put me in a gutter. I can't fall, so a struggle. Pull up on me, get a fire rebuttal, so y'all better chill. Oh, word the diamonds, cause if I'm under pressure, know that Dizzy Black off for real. I had to lose myself, let's keep the... Shout out to Black Diamonds, you see what I mean? Melody sauciness and then the bars bro oh, for real i had to move and sellers keep them all up concealed they think i don't know but i know what it is and i see the truth with the words that i hear man i see the truth and the truth is too clear to me clearly you not what you should appear to be you tried to take what was there for me corner but don't put no fear in me can't be done it by my enemy just cause it's weight on my shoulders make it so hard to find what makes this an entire song the freaking hook once you repeat the hook again that's our song right there that's what we're saying with busy he gets the he has the total package simple as that i can't give up even though i don't know if i even make it through the night first open it already coming in with flow and in a way can I give it up I can I give it up switch right there bro Con Con contrast is another one who i feel is so underrated in nerdcore be real because i've said this before with the way how contrast has versatility in his in his music he can make a rap he can make he can make a hit he can make a song be fire like bar wise saucy smooth and that r b bro pure ignorance too like bro contrast has the entire he basically knows how to make a song same thing with dizzy he can know how to make a rap and a song you hear what i said earlier most artists just knows how to do one thing when it comes to music just make a rap and some can just make a rap some can just make a hit but when you can do those two together combine them bro it's just a 
you're getting two for the price of one. You're getting not only rapping in it, but you're getting a hit. Bro, body flicker, I'm too good because never caught me stepping on. Prodigy is yes, made in godly images. Came from a city where I be in the trenches. Yeah, I off my innocence and lost all my friends. And my heart called ridiculous. So dark as the night, how I'm moving with madness. Got God on my side, making sense and ain't losing myself. It's war all around me, can't call no more family. So I take the way to the world with no help. I move like a man, woman, army. This pain face me hard, they come look through my eyes, you'll see how. So even do death, get the legacy. Living through pain, we shall process till then it's farewell. This weight on my shoulders, make it so hard to find. I can't give up even though I don't know if I even make it through the night. I can't lose my heart. I cannot give it up. I cannot give it up. I cannot give it up. It's so crazy because it's basically like this with Spotify. I, I have like a playlist where it's like for nerdcore and any other music for that matter. Well, actually mostly in nerdcore itself. I'm not going to lie to you. That playlist that I have on Spotify where it has saucy slash aggressive music. Honestly to God, I'm not going to lie to y'all. That's mostly for nerdcore because people just think like when it comes to nerdcore, it's just only like where it just mostly talks about the character on a certain anime or cartoon or movie or what, whatnot. Maybe that's true, right? Maybe that's true. But sometimes, let's be real. Certain like things that's happening in that show, anime or whatever. Be real. Doesn't that? Don't you see that sometimes in life too, where a nigga who can be saucy as hell, you see that in a nigga who's saucy as hell in a show. You see that too here in the real life. Somebody who's aggressive as hell in real life too. Somebody who's emotional sometimes in real life. I mean, in the cartoon. You see that too in real life. So, I'm just saying. This right here. This makes songs like Dizzy Yay, Freaking Fable, Divide and such. When it comes to that emotional attachment. I might need to create another playlist for Nerdcore called Emotional, cause god damn it. But the thing is with Dizzy's music, I don't know where I want to put it in the saucy and aggressive or emotional cause so far it has three, basically it's like got the whole entire three elements. With the chorus being emotional, the, the chorus and lyrics being emotional, but then the beat freaking comes in as saucy and then the freaking rapping what he does in his verse is aggressive so I wouldn't know I might as well would want to put them in the same two same two playlists like that they can't lose my right here. I cannot give it up I give it up I cannot give it up I cannot give it up I can't from everybody on this music mayhem y'all went crazy but hey especially this last one the dizzy and con y'all something else but hey y'all let me know what y'all thought about this music music mayhem reaction down in the comments below and if you made it this far <laughs> comment down below slap milk dud no comment down below milk dud because if I'm just thinking of that freaking slap Game Boy got in the back of his head from that barber. Like, bro, Game Boy, that's what, that's what your ass get for trying freaking goofing around in that damn barber chair. <laughs> but now, nah, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. Make sure to go check out my other reactions right here. And subscribe to the channel, man. It's been your boy, Homeboy Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. We out.